Welcome back to the chat. I'm Pod. It's your host, Ren. I got a video today from Tiki Taki. You know, passport bros. It's funny when women from other countries tr try to trash passport bros and they say it's not because, you know, they're from the West or anything, but they literally use the same talking points as Western feminism and everything about passport bros. So it makes me think like, you really don't think you're part of the West, even though because you were born in that country. Same same thought process, you know. So please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And let's get to that chow. It's chow time. Okay, we seriously need to talk about the passport bros movement. Oh, if you, you haven't do? come across this term yet, it refers to a breed of men mostly from the US and the UK who roam countries in South America, Southeast Asia and Eastern Europe in search of traditional women. I feel a little awkward her calling us a breed of men. But Okay. Why do they do that? Well, because they claim that Western women have been corrupted by feminism, have impossibly high standards, and aren't feminine enough. Yeah. Which translates from bro speak to I'm upset that women here no longer need me to survive and I have to try to be a decent human being. What? That's her translation of bro speak? That we, you know, are upset that women don't need us anymore? I mean, slightly maybe, but it's more that you guys hate men. Like, literally how you're coming across right now as you have a detest towards men right now. Most women are saying they don't need no man. They'd rather be single and alone. If that's the case, these women have opted out of the dating market. And if they opted out of the dating market, guess what men are going to have to do? Go find somewhere else that women that are opt into the dating market. Simple math, I, I, I can't assume, but... In order to date or be in a relationship. Now, as someone who was born and raised in one of the countries these passport bros consider to be a fertile land full of submissive and traditional women, I certainly have lots to say on this topic. And first of all, these men are hypocrites because for all their talk about the importance of traditional values, they certainly don't have any themselves. What values do women bring from the West? Like women want men, you know, you know what traditional values for men is? It's just taking care of the bills and providing and protecting. Those are the main traditional values that women expect men to do. I think most men are very aware of this. Just because you want to go do whatever you want to do, maybe sleep around a little bit or whatever, does that make you not traditional? I think men have always kind of kind of done that. In point, this is the most popular passport bro on this platform who goes by the nickname of Digital Bromad. And his entire online persona is just showing off women who he pays for and presumably sleeps with while partying and enjoying a lavish lifestyle. So... You know that he pays for them, but you presume that he sleeps with them. So you actually don't know anything. And yeah, he's showed maybe like two or three girls that he's dated. Like for a long, like decent periods of time. Like the, the, the more recent woman that he's been with, it's, she's been in his video. She lives with him. You know, they've been together for a little bit. So I don't think he's paying for sex or whatever it is you speak of you just want to you know come out here and shame men like so he lives a lavish lifestyle that's exactly why he wanted to live in these countries so his money would stretch more so for men being practical with our money and finding women that want to be with us we are you know exploiting things and if you look at all the forums and pages and channels dedicated to the passport bro community, and yes, there is already plenty of them, you will find just more of the same. These men aren't interested in finding a traditional woman. They just fetishize, hypersexualize, and stereotype women from developing countries and essentially leverage global economic inequality for their own personal gain. Isn't that what you do? Isn't that what women in the West do? Almost pretty much to the T. Which brings me to my next point. The term passport bro might be new, but this is hardly a new way of thinking. What you see right here is a part of an article published in GQ in the 1990s describing the Western men's fantasy of the Asian women. You can pause to read the whole thing, but it essentially implies that Asian women are fun and uncomplicated and 
They don't insist on being treated like a person, which makes them perfect for a Western man tired with those angry feminists. Oh, so you assume these things off of a article that was written so long ago about white sexual imperialism. And you, you broad stroke that on all Western men that want to move over. And then you broad stroked all Asian women that they are less than human. Or that they don't have any rights or they don't have a mind of their own. Do you realize how racist you sound and stupid? It's obvious that you have never traveled to any of these countries to see for yourself how different these women are and how much your money goes a long way. Well, clearly not much has changed in the last three decades because passport bros are once again reinforcing all these disgusting and reductive stereotypes that imply Asian women, but also South American women. We didn't say anything about these women. We just said they're nicer and more submissive. We didn't say any of what you're saying now. You're the one that's putting this in our mouths. That's because that's how you think of these women. It really shows. So who's the problem here, lady? Men and Slavic women aren't people. No, in their eyes, we're just some- What? They aren't people? Now you're just fucking- really progressive and dutiful and always sexually available blow-up dolls and obviously this is a whole pile of bullshit but unfortunately it also leads to over prevalence of certain ethnicities in corn the male order bride industry and large-scale sexual violence and exploitation and yes the existence of passport bros and the stereotypes they perpetuate contribute to all of that okay shut the fuck up i don't really say it often much to women but shut up like, what you're talking about has nothing to do with that last statement of us perpetuating, you know, sex trafficking or any of these movements. Like, we just are looking for someone to take care of us and to build a family with. That's all Passport Bros have really said. We never said we were looking for inhumans. We were looking for people that were so impoverished that they're begging and clamoring at our feet to, for us to take them out of that. We've never said anything like that. So you are just projecting what you assume that men do and how, what, infantized these women are? That they don't even know exactly what the hell's going on or being done to them or whatever it is that you're thinking is being done to them? It's kind of sad. Hey, we seriously need to These are the women they're talking about. How do you get a man's attention? <laughs> Look how they're dressed. This is an older clip. Hi. She's cute. My daddy! Oh yeah! <laughs> How do you just see how different they are? A little bit more friendly, a little bit more feminine feeling, you know? This stone is flawless. Look how soft F and F just one. wonderful they look. This stone is flawless. This is what they're competing F with. This is why they're so upset. Men of value will date down and date the girl who works a nine to five at KFC, but a woman of value would never even look that guy's way. She looks like a human to me. Beautiful human. Men of value. I think it's a little awkward that he's filming her while she's cleaning the table, but yeah. They just can't compete. They really can't. <laughs> Hope you guys like that. Ciao. You know. That uh, one woman from Ukraine is just ridiculous to me how she really doesn't think that she's westernized. She literally uses the exact same talking points that western women use to shame passport bros. But yet she doesn't, has never traveled herself and doesn't see how racist and hypocritical her thought process is. So please like subscribe down below. I really appreciate that and I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.